Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden from Real Life Trading Australia back again with another Real Life Stock Review. Another day, another new all-time high. ES, futures, S&P going higher. We are finding a little bit of resistance up here as it is a fairly psychological level being the 3,000 point mark. Wow, that is absolutely insane. But guys, we're going higher. ES, probably looking to have a little bit of a pullback as we have had, you know, pretty much six or seven bullish days in a row. Uh, so if we do get a little bit of selling up here, it's probably only going to be short lived and just look to buy the dip. So ES looking higher. Here's the Dow Jones and we have created a new all time high. 26,966. The high of today was 27,009 points. So 27,000. Didn't think we'd go above 26. Now we're above 27. Probably going to go to 30. So uh, <laughs> eventually. Dow Jones definitely looking to go higher, but just look on a buying the dip opportunity. Here's the Russell. RTY, not looking super bullish. Um, most likely we, we will come back to these long-term moving averages down here and then slowly grind higher with the rest of the markets. But Russell still looking bullish. And the Qs, NASDAQ, just another new all-time high, looking absolutely glorious. Here's the All Lords. And we are getting close. I reckon maybe next week, maybe next week, we may see a new all-time high. That would be absolutely amazing. Cannot wait. Been talking about this for a while, guys. Be long on the markets. Um, don't be trying to pick tops. Look to buy. Uh, market just looks super bullish. Um, but here's a day trade that was an absolute amazing gap of the century. Here's a gap and go that I wish that I took. Um, nice little high wave bearish candle yesterday. Little doji looking thing. And we did get this nice double bottom and at open gapped up almost above the high of yesterday's candle. But if you take a look at the five minute, this is how you would have played it, guys. Very, very simple setup. First five minute candle bearish high wave candle entry stop would have been probably would have taken your profits here at 2R but if you held all day would have been a nice 5R trade um, but West Farmers beautiful dip buying opportunity and this is a double bottom so if you if you aren't in bullish probably because this is such a bullish candle probably look to buy the dip on the retest of this double bottom neckline. Um, but West Farmers looking bullish. Here's Blackstone BSL. Uh, on the daily, not a lot happening here. On the daily, we are breaking out of, oh, this is a weekly chart. We are breaking out of this cute little wedge here and we are at the 200 simple moving average so from here guys um i just look to be neutral um buy as low as you can we are probably going to get sandwiched in between these two long-term simple moving averages here on the on the weekly but we have broken above the 200 on the daily so most likely just look to buy the dip we have broke out here, so just look to buy the dip and take this thing higher. Wow, Woolworths, we called it guys, we did say that this was moving higher right here. Uh, we are coming up into the highs here again, um, but most likely we will just have a cute little pullback and then probably look to go higher. So Woolworths, well done to those of you who did take Woolies long. Um, Keep holding, it will be a nice looking trend. JB Hi-Fi, just crushing these analysis every single day, every single week. We did say on this day here that it was going to be bullish. I did say though, probably look for a buy at about $26. Um, 
we didn't get that. We did gap up and then fade a little bit, but that was the nice little retest. That retest was actually on this particular day, um, but it was a retest to go long. And by the looks of this candle, we are probably going to continue. So JB Hi-Fi, definitely looking bullish. Here's TPG Telecom. Internet service provider here in Australia. Um, I use them personally. And right now they are looking to break their trend. They have been consolidating here for a while. Now, what's interesting about this is the gap that occurred back here. Now this was a retest gap. Everyone jumped on bullish and then basically it pulled all the way back. Uh, we pulled all the way back and then we had this nice little consolidation phase here, a nice little accumulation phase right here. We've been in here for a, quite some time. And if you just have a look here on the weekly chart, oops, weekly chart, here we go. We are consolidating at the 100 simple moving average. And we are also creating this downward uh, little descending wedge here which is also coinciding with the neckline of this double bottom, which is super rare. No one has ever seen that before. Um, slight sarcasm in my voice there. But on the weekly chart, we did finish very strong this week. Uh, we did gap up slightly and we have got this nice bullish, bullish candle. So where I see TPG, from now, personally, I think this is just the start of a new trend. Okay, so I know we will probably look to find some resistance up here at about the 200 simple moving average. But once we break that, guys, we're probably most likely going to start to trend higher. So TPG, look to buy to go long. Very good opportunity long term. Here's BHP and BHP is just looking absolutely amazing. We've been talking about this thing going long for quite some time now. And we, oh my gosh, this, oh wait, this is, this is on the New York, New York Stock Exchange. Hang on a second. BHP, Aussie, here we go. This is what I needed to see. Perfect. So BHP pulling back a little bit. Okay. And most likely, um, if you were looking to buy $40 right here, there's your mark. Um, this 100 simple moving average is going to come in. We're probably going to come down and bounce. Um, but if not, we can also look to go higher. If you take a look at the short term moving averages, um, anywhere pretty much, yeah, probably the 20. So if you are looking to buy anywhere between the 20 and the 50 will be a nice area to go long. Um, on the weekly chart, this is a nice inverted hammer here. So just expect a little bit of resistance here, guys. We have been super bullish um, and we have had quite a few bullish weeks. We've had four bullish weeks in a row, five bullish weeks in a row, in fact. So a lot of people profitable, just look to buy the dip and take BHP higher. Wondering why that's going higher? Take a look at the iron ore futures. Last time we spoke about this, we were at 106, okay? And I did say that most likely our next target is going to be 140 and we'll probably consolidate up there. So most likely just look to, uh, BHP will probably continue higher with the iron ore futures and then I guess we'll just see where we go from there. So iron ore looking super bullish. It's going to be very interesting to see uh, what news comes out with and what projects get started over here, especially over in the West with iron ore moving higher. Um, that's all the tickers I've got on the Aussie markets. Fun little fact. Um, just take a look at Shopify. And now on the daily, I found this quite interesting probably heard me say before this is just a this is the Lamborghini machine and uh, you know what I was almost right because the similarities okay with this particular stock turns out people weren't buying Lamborghinis they were buying you guessed it 
Ferraris, right? Exactly the same trend. Super, super bullish. A lot of people profitable on Shopify. The more people are buying Ferraris. Anyway, that's just my take on that. Um, quick look at the Forex markets. Here's the Aussie dollar, long-term moving averages. Uh, on this day, I did miss this particular short here, but we did get a really, really nice opportunity right here to go short. So you can see exactly how I would have played this. I'm actually currently in short now as, you, as we speak. Entry was actually below the low here with a stop above here. So I guess we'll see how this is going to play out. But Aussie dollar, a little bit of resistance, and I'm hoping to take this thing lower. Here's the GBP AUD. Now we are, we've been consolidating on this trend line for quite some time. If you take a look at the weekly chart, we are at the move, these moving averages. We are at the moving averages, long-term 100 and 200 on the weekly. And we're right at the base here on this lower trend line. So if you take a look at the daily, um, personally, I think this is probably going to break. Okay. It's probably going to break here, retest, and then go a little bit lower just because we are starting to see a little bit of weakness um, at up here and here. So I do think this is probably going to be the start of the next, um, this, we're probably halfway through the next bearish trend on GBP AUD. But if you are looking to take this, this thing long, probably only take it short term up to the 200 and then maybe look to take a short position back down to about $1.74. That would probably be my target um, on that one. Here's the USD Swiss franc. Uh, came straight down to this support level right here. Um, we've, we did bounce and we are looking to go higher. If you're not in long already, um, this would be a very nice little opportunity to take back up into the move, moving averages. Your entry, your entry right here and a stop below here. We are looking bullish the last, uh, we are looking bullish today and this was a nice little double bottom, cute little retest. So USD Swiss franc looking to go higher. And let's take a look at good old Bitcoin. Bitcoin and in the name, <laughs> in the words of Shakira, your fibs don't lie, right? Wondering why we are, fi we are finding a support level here. If I just take a quick fib right here, we came straight down to the 382. And also from the last wave up, we are matching right here at the 618. So personally, guys, what I think Bitcoin is going to do here is just consolidate for a little while, probably look to uh it'll probably look to consolidate around this level um just look to buy at around nine eight six two that would be a really great buying opportunity but bitcoin right now we will start to see a little bit of consolidation after such a bullish run kicking myself i did not get in right here but that's okay i'll look to buy the dip here's ripple ripple uh, pretty much just pull them back with the rest of the market, uh, the rest of the cryptos. We are in a little bit of a channel here and we are at the 100 simple moving average. So pretty much just look to buy low, sell high. Target on Ripple to sell is 49 cents. Um, so if you are in Ripple, look to sell at 49 cents. Short term, obviously. Long term, probably going to go higher. But that's it. That's all I've got for you today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. And I'll be back next week on Tuesday with another real life stock review. And until then, love life, live life, and trade it. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.